All right, let's get a check of our weather for our Saturday evening. Again, a beautiful day once again has been shaping up for us all and temperatures right now in those upper 80s to low 90s, much of what we've been seeing all week. So we again are experiencing comfortable temperatures almost kind of in the same weather pattern right now. Not too much going on and luckily we're not talking about any rainfall either. I know before we were supposed to see a few rain showers, but we are staying dry for the evening right now as winds continue to push in from the east there about up to three miles per hour near Waco, seven mile per hour winds uh, near Marlin right now. And you kind of see those winds going in different directions. Some winds are turning down. Some winds are going straight across towards the east, and that's because we do have a trough axis that is present. But since we don't have any rain and since we have winds across the area, remember that multiple burn bands are in place right now. And all the areas where you see the flame and the red burn signal, that means that um, there is a a burn ban in effect across those counties and it's mainly towards our more uh, central counties in central Texas and towards the south and of course across the Brazos Valley. But if you look near portions of like Waco near Hill County, Bosque County, they are not under this burn ban as of now. And again, we are seeing those dry conditions continue to spread as we've seen our recent drought monitor. So again, think about that as you go throughout the afternoon. It may be perfect barbecue weather, but you want to use caution for sure. Again, dry out there as we check our radar. We have have another trough that is positioned out west. We're going to see how pressure continue to build in in the upper levels as well. So that's why we're staying dry and sunny as we head through the next several days. Also again, no rain present on our radar, which is great news, but we are seeing more tropical development now. So let's get you an update on the tropics again, still in hurricane season and hurricane season does officially end on November 30th. So you still have time to uh, prep and plan if you haven't went over your safety plan just yet. Make sure you at least know what that looks like for you and your family because we have had an active season so far already 13 named storms. The next name up is Nadine and we could see it form soon here. We already had eight hurricanes, three of which which were major hurricanes. So again, it's very important to know your safety plan, gathering those non perishable food items, candles, flashlights and batteries. And again, knowing your evacuation route if it comes to that. Again, we are tracking Another disturbance that just popped up here getting ready to move off the coast of Africa. It has a 30% chance of development over the next seven days. We're going to keep our eye on that again. It's in the main development region right now as well as those hurricanes are popping up uh, coming off the coast of Africa near those tropical waters. But we're also tracking now tropical storm Milton that is in the Gulf of Mexico. We have been tracking this area for about a week now and it has now finally became tropical right now. It's a tropical storm storm, but it could reach major hurricane status as we head into early next week before moving inland over Florida once again. But you see how wide and how massive this storm is in the Gulf of Mexico right now is bringing a lot of heavy rainfall already along the coastline of Mississippi, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, and even across the state of Florida already. And we're also tracking massive Hurricane Kirk. It's a major hurricane as well. It did get up to category four strength has downgraded just a little bit to major uh, category three strength, but you can see how massive it is. There's its uh, center there, or you can see the eye present, but luckily it's not headed our way. It's going to continue its path towards the north, and it could mean um, some tropical development for Europe here in the next few days. Also, here is Hurricane Leslie. We are keeping our eye on right now. It's a category one hurricane, not so much as a well-defined eye, but this storm is pretty large. You see those rain bands extending far behind it as well. And we're also tracking again that disturbance that is coming off the coast of Africa here that could enter into those tropical waters here very soon. So we're going to keep a close eye on hurricane season and beautiful weather though is what we can expect throughout the next seven days. Again, at first on Sunday we had a small chance of rainfall. That is no longer the case. A few more clouds will be present, but we're going to see mostly sunny conditions for Sunday. Same case for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and again over the next seven days. Beautiful weather is what we can expect. Even getting finally a taste of fall there by midweek because a cold front system will be coming through Monday into Tuesday. And so for Wednesday, Thursday, get ready to enjoy upper 80s for highs and upper 50s for your overnight low.